cats and kittens. Today, I am going to show you how to do this seductress eye look. Um, inspired by Princess Jasmine and Coachella. Okay, let's be real. I just put some shit together. But anyways, I feel like this look is totally appropriate for going to Walmart. I feel like if you went to Target, Kroger, or anywhere else, they would look at you funny. But at this point, Walmart has seen it all. So... <laughs> If you guys want to see how to get this look, then keep on watching. Look at my little cat ears. What a catastrophe. <laughs> Somebody get me out of quarantine. Okay, so we are going to get started. I want to do something extra, something extravaganza, something like bitch really. Yes, we're going there. So first thing first, I'm going to use my brow bar. Uh, restock will be this week. So keep an eye out on my website. Follow me on Instagram on both my soap page and my personal. One of my lovely friends and customers, um, Arcoides Beauty. She, um, she's the one that did a video and actually um, bent the stick. And I was like, hey, I want to try that. So I'm gonna finish my eyebrows at the very end but I still want to um kind of mark them out okay next I'm taking my Mac concealers as um, eye primer because this is the pro conceal and correct palette in medium I'm just taking this this yellow if you guys know of a good eye primer, holla at your girl in the comments because um, I used to use the Urban Decay uh, Primer Potion and I was with that one for a long time, but I want to try something else. Like it ran out and I didn't really give a shit to repurchase it. Okay, I'm going to take my Glamouflage Concealer by Hard Candy and my flat brush and I'm going to shape out my eyebrow. My eyebrows are still not finished, but I do wanna uh, have them already shaped out since we're gonna uh, really intensify the eyes today. Okay, and then once they are shaped out, then you just blend it. I'm gonna use my Daisy Marquez palette. Love this palette. And I'm going to use Icy as the uh, brow bone highlight. I'm gonna get my Stormy palette and I'm gonna use Perfect Storm. It's a light brown. Perfect as a transition. Oh my gosh, these fucking eye boogers. <laughs> my bad. So I'm gonna do a halo and then a sparkly uh, pop of color in the middle. So I'm going to use Love Without Limits from the Stormy palette. It's like my favorite shade. From the whole palette look at how much freaking fallout there is so once you got your halo done you're going to connect them and it's okay if it looks sloppy at first everything will come together at the end okay now we're gonna intensify the eyes with the same color so talk to me what kind of movies or shows on Netflix have you guys been watching <sighs> love Tiger King talk to me about Tiger King in the comments down below I'm so obsessed with it. I've watched it twice. I'm still finishing up Elite. 
comment down below if you've watched Elite. This look is inspired by Princess Jasmine from the live action Aladdin movie. I watched it and I loved it. I'm gonna watch it again. So it's okay if like the edges are fucked up. Like I said, we're gonna, everything will come together in the end. We're gonna clean everything up. So for the middle, we're gonna use our fingers and we're gonna use Dream from the Daisy Marquez palette. And you're just gonna tap it. And this is um, our base color because we're gonna add glitter. So for the glitter adhesive, I'm using this Radiant Liquid Eyeshadow by Nika K New York. And I seriously got this for like a dollar at the beauty supply store. So it's eyeshadow, but I'm using it as um as glitter adhesive. Just put a little bit. Oh, holy shit, it's like super wet. And then kind of dab it with your finger. And the star of the show is this uh, little mini jar from Glitter My World and Frostbite. This stuff gets everywhere. So you should look like so. I did put on my eyeliner off camera because girl, <laughs> this tutorial is already taking a long ass time because of this freaking glitter. So um, yeah, I just did a basic eyeliner. I really don't know how to do a cat eye, but I know how you can fake it. You can just get a makeup wipe and then you're just gonna angle it. And boom, shakalaka laka. Okay, so now we're gonna curl our real lashes. I think that's the trick to getting your lashes to look really good is just to focus on your own and make sure yours are nice and prepped and curled before putting on the fake ones so that they blend together seamlessly. So once they're curled, I love using Mexican mascara. You can get these at the bazaar, flea markets, swap meets, Mexican malls. So after you curl your lashes, you can go in and correct the eyeliner. As you can see, some of the eyeliner did come off because of my, um my little uh, eyelash curler, so you can fix that and then we'll do fake lashes. Oh girl, we got our fake lashes on and nine times out of 10, they were a dollar from the beauty supply store. So y'all need to definitely check out your local beauty supply stores. Okay, so now we are going to do concealer. So I love using this Laura Mercier, um, Radiant Primer and my MAC Concealer, the peachy shade. And I use a little bit of this to um, mix this under my eyes. I get a little bit on my finger and this just helps the concealer get a little bit more creamier because it's thick. And I love the peach shade because it really helps to conceal my freaking bags. I've been going to bed at like five or six in the morning. I'm not even gonna lie. And we're just gonna take a little beauty sponge. This one's by Real Techniques. And we're just gonna blend that out. Okay, now I'm gonna take my Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I put a little bit and I'm gonna use like a little stippling brush. And we're only going to do the top half of our face. And I still like 
to get my beauty blender. Okay, now we are still going to enhance the under eyes and these are my two favorite combos. It's the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer and this is in the shade Fair Warm and then my Makeup Forever uh, Velvet Skin Foundation. But um, I just use these two for the under eyes. They are amazing. This little e.l.f. concealer, it has... Um, replaced my tart shape tape it's that good like y'all need to try it you can get it i got it at walmart for like six bucks so once you blend the concealer you get your beauty sponge pounce it into the velvet skin and like look at that like look at how smooth that is under your eyes and it doesn't crease guys okay so now we're going to work on the under eyes i'm still gonna take love without limits i love this color but this fallout I'm gonna try to put a little bit of blue in the middle. And then dream again. I don't even know if that made a difference. <laughs> okay there, so I intensified it just a little bit using the liquid eyeshadow again. And I'm going to line my waterline using a little sponge tip brush like this and an all black shadow. This one's called Matter. So I did my bottom lashes using my favorite for bottom lashes only, this Clinique High Impact Mascara in black. And this mascara is actually designed to not smudge um, under your eyes, so I really recommend this one. Okay, now we can finish our eyebrows. I have a full eyebrow routine on my channel. I will link it down below so you guys can check it out. Okay, and then I'm going to add a little pop to the inside eye corners using Icy again. Now the fun part, we're going to use some little jewels that I have left over to spice up the look. And you can get these at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, wherever. I think that's cute right there. Coachella! <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the finished product. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload. I upload once a week. That would help me out a lot. I am a small YouTuber, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye!